Hello and welcome to another mock showcase video. I don't even know if I can say that because this is it's like it's like technically a mock but also like it's like based off a set quite a lot. But um basically this is a separatist shuttle. Um it's probably got a fancy Star Wars name. You're gonna need a nickname because I ain't saying that every time. But I'm just gonna call it for this video the Separatist Shuttle. Um this is a separatist um, vehicle. I can't really like to say that. <laughs> Who would have known? I thought it was from the First Order. But yeah, um, basically, this is a. I'd say it is a mock, but it's also not a mock. It's very heavily modified. It's a very heavily modified version of the official. Um, Lego Separatist Shuttle. Um, uh, I wish I had that on hand to compare to this, although I don't. And the reason I don't have it to compare with this is because I made this so I wouldn't have to buy the original one. Um, basically, um, what this shares with in similarity to the original one is the shaping of the, uh, I guess, the fin besides the stripes, which I put on. Um, and basically a lot of this front section, like this base and the way this roof, um, roof section connects. The rest of it I kind of worked on myself. Um, I know the official set has like this weird function that's got like sliding doors in the back. I've just got a simple, uh, I can pull it out. drop down door with a little droid in there Hello. Um, and I've also made my roof removable basically so I can put in some form of interior into here and if we can pull out this little guy just like that you can see in here that I've just put some panels in the wall and like a control board at the back I think that's from an old Ninjago set from a couple of years ago that panel just with some joysticks. Nothing too intense, just something to put in there. Um, I've also incorporated sand blue into this vehicle, which wasn't seen before in the original set. Um, purely because at the time when I built this, this is actually a rather older mock of mine that I just haven't shown up before. At the time I didn't have any of these, but the only type of panel I had of this was in sand blue. So I thought, why not put sand blue into the rest of the vehicle? Which I think turns out quite well. It's a nice little um, accent to take colour. Let's see, I just folded in one of the legs at the back and can't fix it properly. That is a problem with this thing. The legs are a nightmare. Now that I've actually got the legs standing still, um, you can basically see that, um, yeah, as I said, I took this, 95% uh, of it was out of my own parts. I didn't need to order anything in for it. Um, like, I used these nice printed pieces, which I believe were from a 2002 um, Lego Star Wars set. But with a, it was like a dual set with Yoda and Count Dooku, which is pretty cool. Just for some nice details. Um, you can see that this uh, canopy piece, this is slanting at the wrong angle again. One of my legs is screwed up and I can't be bothered to figure out which one's wrong. Um, but you can see that this is the official... Um, piece from the Separatist Shuttle. Um, I just bought that directly through Bricklink for like 20p, which is a lot cheaper than just buying the whole set. Um, you can see that it did cost that um, amount for a reason. There's like a ton of like carpet fibers underneath the sticker, which I tried to get out, but didn't seem to want to come out. So I will eventually get a new condition version of this and just replace it. But for the time being, it looks okay if you look at it from not close up. It's got a tiny little cockpit area as well, just like the set. Just with some, like, a nice big old seat and some computer panels. But that can just snap right in there. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about this. There isn't a ton going on that's particularly special. Although these legs, as I said, are 
really messy to work with. I basically wanted to make a video on this um, because I am planning to use it on an upcoming mock. Not any of my large mock series, just one of the smaller ones, uh, and a regular Wednesday video. Let's see if that's got a nice design on the back there, if I didn't show that before. Um, so yeah, I'm planning to use this for one of those, so thought I might as well show this to you as well. Just a nice little build I made. Um, anyway, if you in if you like this video, like the video, that's what the like button's for. Comment if you think that I've improved the design. I think overall it's quite good. Maybe it's a little bit weird in this section, but it's pretty good going, I'd say, generally. Um, or also comment any other types of custom vehicles you'd like me to make. Because I'm always open to new ideas. Because ideas for mocks are always a hard thing to come up with. And subscribe for more content just like this or other type of mock content generally. Because that's what I make and that's what I'm going to keep making. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I super superbly appreciate it does that make sense who cares it's the end of the video you're not watching anymore well if you are thanks for watching bye <laughs>